Hi, I'm Rowan Thacker speaking to you today from our Bremen Demo Lab. And it's my honor to introduce our new launch at ASMS, the Timstoff Ultra, together with the CSI Ultra, a combination which significantly enhances the sensitivity performance over the current industry benchmark, which also happens to be a Timstoff, the Timstoff SCP. Since its launch in 2017, the Timstoff Pro and Passive triggered the imagination of the community. And what started with DDA Passive has now evolved into DIA Passive, PRM Passive, CAPS Passive, Slice Passive, Speedy Passive, and we'll also be launching Media Passive. The Timstoff platform evolved into the Timstoff HD, which defined the term proteomics depth at scale. We also launched the MALDI version of the Timstoff Flex with MALDI 2, which opened up multi-omic analysis for spatial biology. And of course, with the launch of the Timstoff Ultra, it opens up new avenues in single cell analysis, such as single cell proteomics, single cell lipidomics, and of course, immunopeptidomics, which has a significant impact in cancer biology. Hi, I'm Chris of Crisp, Applications Development Specialist for Proteomics, um, with a special focus for single cell applications here at Brooker. Over the last couple of years, together with our colleagues from Selenium and also EvoSap, we worked on a lot of workflows to tackle um, all the challenges for single cell applications, from um, working with low sample amounts, reducing transfer steps, but also we worked here on optimizing sensitivity and leading to our new Timstoff um, Ultra, giving us the sensitivity we need to go to the single cell level, but even beyond. We have also received feedback from early adopters using this system. Fabian Koscher, a researcher at the Max Delbruck Center in, in Berlin Buch, he assessed the sensitivity of the system using FFPE fixed mouse liver tissue sections, using then laser capture micro section to cut out really small pieces, mimicking the amount of material obtained from a single cell, from 10 cells or 50 cells. Data acquisition with a really short gradient of just 11 minute active gradient led to the identification of close to 1,500 proteins out of the equivalent of a single cell and up to 4,000 proteins for the equivalent of 50 cells. Thinking about it, this is roughly the amount you usually get out of bulk material. So it's outstanding the sens sensitivity that we are seeing here. Also on a quantitative look at the data, you still see a nice increase from the protein abundance going from the one cell to the 10 cell and the 50 cells with nice um, correlation comparing 50 to 10 cells. Another early adopter of the system, David Gomez Varela from the University of Vienna. In this project, um, he actually looked at um, proteins extracted out of mouse feces to identify what kind of organisms are actually present in this metaproteomics application. So we performed dilution series going all the way down to just 10 picograms and increasing up to 100 nanograms, basically working on the entire range the Timsoft Ultra can work in. So even at the lowest concentration of 10 picogram, we were able to identify quite a few species, around 25, going all the way up to um, 200 already at one nanogram which got even further up when we go for higher loads, then we reached 230 different species identified out of the mouse feces. Of course, we, we see that it distinguishes also between um, pathways seen in the host and also pathways seen specifically in, in different species. So this has potential to, to start a new era in investigating the gut microbiome and give us a better understanding of the association of the gut microbiome in certain diseases. Hi, I'm Christina Marks and I'm application scientist for proteomics in the Bruca Demo Lab. Immunipeptidomics analysis has received a huge boost in recent years. Sensitivity is a key driver for LCMS-based immunopeptidomics. 
We have to deal with low sample amounts and complex mixtures of peptides with similar lengths and conserved sequence features. What we need is ultra-sensitivity combined with optimized methods and processing software. The separation of peptides in the ion mobility device reduces the overall complexity of co-eluting peptides and enhances the sensitivity. Furthermore, singly charged ions are clearly separated from multiply charged ones and can be included in the precursor selection in the same measurement. This is beneficial as 15 to 20 percent of class 1 immunopeptides exist primarily as singly charged species. Apart from high sensitive instruments and optimized methods, processing plays a major role. Bruca Proteoscape searches provide researchers a strong tool for immunopeptide analysis. A multitude of singly and doubly charged immunopeptides are even observed at sub-nanogram lots. Motive analysis shows excellent correlation of immunopeptides at various HLL alleles. We are proud to present to you the Timstoff Ultra, which further pushes the limits of sensitivity and speed. Get in touch with us and experience ultra sensitivity.